Alrighty, so we have the day two um, teaser for the new festival, and uh, it's kind of interesting because they actually took characters away from the old picture. It used to be Bon in the back, um, and I can't even remember who the other one was at this point. Um, should be right here. Oh, it was Gother in the back and then Bon in the back, but now they have basically moved the other two characters back to, or back one, and then there are, obviously this is a new Deanne, but a lot of people are speculating on what this character is, and uh, I, there's, I've already been looking through all of the silhouettes in the game because I have a folder just full of character PNGs for thumbnails and stuff like that, of course. Um, Lost Veins look exactly like him. You can see, I mean, it's obviously the SSR outfit Lost Vein, not the UR outfit Lost Vein, because he doesn't have the clunky armor on. Um, and the King one is also, like, pretty much spot on. He just doesn't have Chastity Fool with him. If I can find King real quick. Um, he was just here a second ago. Alright, so there is King. I mean, you can see literally like one for one Chad King. He's got the handout and everything like that. But the interesting thing about the two new ones is there's no Deanne that looks like that. Like, I mean, they're, they they have the same hairstyle, of course, but uh, Deanne-wise, you have... I mean, God, we have so many Deannes. Uh, let me see if I can bring all of these out. I cannot, so... That's the first Deanne. Uh, obviously, the hair doesn't match up. Second Deanne, hair still doesn't match up. So it, it needs to be hair, like the ponytails, but it needs to be them down. And there's not really... There's actually no PNGs of Deanne with her like ponytails going straight down like this. So that either means that they're using a silhouette that I don't have or is not in the game per se. So I don't think that we're getting a new Deanne. Please God, we have so many already. Uh, but the other one is also not in the game either. Everybody, there was a couple of people in the comments saying that it could be Elizabeth. Uh, that would have been my first guess, to be honest, but as you can see, uh, Elizabeth doesn't have like a weird little part in her hair, and the only character that really does have a, a part in their hair that's like very prominent in this part is Ludo Ciel. He has a little bit of a part in his hair. It's not uh, necessarily like right in the middle. Um, and he also has his handout in his normal PNG. Obviously, they would have had to rip his wings off here, so that way, you know, the other characters aren't getting overshadowed by that. But his hand, in this, it's very open. Like, his hand is very open in this, whereas in this, it looks like it's more, like, clenched, like he's trying to hold on to something. Uh, other people were saying it's Margaret. It, it doesn't line up with Margaret's at all. Like, it, Margaret does not look like that. So, uh, she's also got a sword in her hand. Obviously, they could remove the sword, but it just, it doesn't line up. So these two characters, both the new DN and I can only assume this is a Ludo CL. Um, it those aren't <laughs> those aren't character you know portraits that we already have in the game, which is interesting. I don't think that they're necessarily like the festival characters or anything like that. But uh, it's weird that they're using you know ones that we don't have, considering the other ones have been ones that we had so far. Because uh, I mean, even these like this is obviously Festival Gother. This is obviously you know Purgatory Bond. Uh, actually, is that even Purgatory Bond? I guess it might not be. Um, Purgatory Bond looks like that, actually. So, I don't think that is Purgatory Bond's silhouette. Um, it looks like he's kind of like got his hand in his pocket here. I don't think we have a Bond silhouette that looks like that either. So, I don't know. They probably have like a multitude of images or whatever. So, that's not necessarily that important. But, um, yeah. Still no Escanor. Still no Merlin. Um... <laughs> <laughs> very, uh, very interesting to see what they, uh, which one it ends up being. I'm, I, I think, I think it's a pretty, I think people are more interested in an Escanor, of course, but, um, a regular, like, Merlin, not like Lolly Merlin or, you know, um, I don't know, just a regular festival Merlin would be really cool because Merlin has some really crazy attacks. Everybody in the Sins has like really overpowered and like insane abilities, to be honest. But uh, I don't know, Merlin's really cool. Obviously, it's been a really long time since we've had an Escanor, so I'm not going to complain about either one that we get. Um, 
But uh, the fact that it's not shown either of them here, I thought day two would maybe give it away on which one is going to be missing from the entire image. But uh, they're they're playing it safe and they're they're teasing a little bit more than that. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, we do have a Hawk and Oslo unit in the game. It would be really cool if it was a double unit somehow, but I know that probably is not going to be the case. Um, uh, that would it would actually be super nice if that was the case because I got a comment on the yesterday or the day three uh, video that I did yesterday and somebody was like wow like new humans new human for the bond team if it's Escanor or new unknown Merlin for the the unknown team if it's Merlin and that is a really good point both of those both of those teams just got brand new characters and they're doing fairly well in the meta maybe maybe not the unknown team as much. Um, but the Bond team is ridiculous right now, so giving them even more support or just a new character to use would be really bad, I think, right now. Um, so if they did like a dual unit where they act as human and unknown, so you can't necessarily use them for like both teams, uh, would be interesting, but obviously that's just, <laughs> that's way out left field. I highly doubt they're doing that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's obviously still based around the, the Nebula Zeldris fight and everything. So definitely looking forward to it. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to stretch this out any longer because it's, I don't know, just thought it was interesting that they were using PNGs that I don't have. <laughs> but either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we will be doing a live stream whenever the actual like reveal happens. So if you are up and subscribe to the channel, uh, like you should be, uh, you might come hang out with us and watch the reveal together. So either way, that's it from me. See you guys later.